Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of The Lies of P. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to continue our adventure through the city of Krat. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really, all I did was buy all the items from the Nini's butler. And that's it. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, which way do we go? I think it is this way. Switch over to our coiled sword or whatever you want to call it. exhibition theme was automatic puppets and city of the future the plan was to showcase and demonstrate the most advanced technology in Krat. but you know the rest you can't hold an exhibition in a city that's fallen into utter chaos and now the whole city is an exhibition of a nightmare This place is tough. It is tough. So there's one of those dogs I despise over there. I'm gonna take it out first. and heal ourselves we can't get in that door just yet we will a little later or that one damn it I did not want to get every single one of their attention, but it's fine. That worked out a little better than I thought it was going to. Get ourselves a crescent moon. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to come down here. There's another dog we got to deal with. But we also have to deal with a pretty annoying... Or, well, not even annoying. It's just tough. A pretty tough enemy in just a moment so once we get over by the boss that's where I did not proceed to like I didn't get past it and that's when we'll be caught up to the prior videos
Go ahead and put that on. Just an overall upgrade. So I'm already slightly heavy. And that's why I said, I think we're just going to have to continue uh, upgrading our capacity. Things are so heavy in this game. I mean, I could probably take one of my weapons off, but I'm not sure I want to do that, if I'm being honest. Hopefully we get to ride more than just this one trolley or monorail, whatever you want to call it. So there are some enemies in here that I am straight up going to just run past because they are tough and I have not figured out their attack patterns or their gimmick. We'll rest at that stargazer in just a moment. First, let's grab that. Open this door. This door is where I said we can't open it just yet. The very beginning of this area. So it just brings us to the front here. Nice. So that right there is the puppet that I'm talking about. As soon as we get close to it, it's going to come to life. These things are a nightmare. Things are going better than I expected. I do have to say that. Or maybe I just keep getting lucky. So there's another one of those guys. I want to get this guy's attention first. And then we'll worry about the hot mess that's over there. Can't forget about this. Get ourselves an item. I 
just gonna back up. No, come back here. Wait for that thing to leave then. Well, I guess we're gonna fight this first. Okay, fine. Love that we have seven pulse cells now. Nice, another half moon stone. We're gonna need that for sure. Wait for him to stop his animation. So hoping he would drop a pulse cell, but that's okay. So we'll be able to get this to drop down in just a bit here. don't think that this is the way to progression I think this is just for an item or maybe not that is progression down here is to fight another one of those big boys that are scary do I have anything else to use against him have this and I have this that'll have to do Whew. got a strength amulet Man, it's almost like I've done this content before. I think I'm going to put advanced up 
five more levels though. I know I said uh, that I was probably going to do only 10. But I think 15 would be a good um, stopping point for advance. Oh wow. That was cheap. Oh, this part. What's going on? Oh, I need to repair my weapon. And I don't have any more of the throwing cells. So this might not go too well for me. We'll see. Come on, big boy. Will he come down here? He will not. What's going on? I forgot there is an NPC to talk to over here. D don't don't come any closer. Oh. You're not one of them. Are you here to save me? Those grand exhibition jerks are not to be messed with. Especially after they took that drug. Then there are those biological experiments. Oh, how horrid. I can't reveal everything. But suffice it to say that I can escape on my own if you clear the way a bit. Please, wipe out all those mongrels. Please, wipe out. It'll be easier to breathe once that horrid victor has been taken out. Once you're done, I'll see you at the hotel. So what I'm going to try to do is get past them by luring them over here and then killing those guys. See you, bud. That other puppet is just confused, doesn't know what to do. That's awesome. Go ahead and lower this. And now we can get over here a little easier. So right over here, I just run and grab stuff. Run, run, Mr. Wayne, run like the wind. Okay, just 
making sure he's not going to come for us. Let's go ahead and answer this phone. Another fine day in the city of Krog. But I wonder, my friend, just where you've been? Ah. Oh. <laughs> if your goal is to study the human condition, there's no better way than my riddle position. You know how it is. It's time for a quiz. Today's riddle might have you over the barrel. Mm -hmm. But get this one wrong and you will be in peril. So, answer correctly or tango with danger. But when you quiz with the king, danger's no stranger. Now, listen closely and heed the king's speech or the answer to this one will stay out of reach. Think about this. Whatever it takes. What cannot be used before it breaks? Correct! You were once such a fool, yet you've gotten so glower. I'm as happy as a parent. In this city, there are those who wish to crack the shell and be reborn. How about you? Can you awaken and break free of the shell that is your puppet's body? <laughs> oh, it's a frightfully difficult question, huh? So, I'll reward you with a hint. At the Grand Exhibition, you now must behold all ten fingertips of the Woman of Cold. Look close before she escapes your notice. Then I'm done with you. Mostly. I did not notice that before. It says we feel warmth. I wonder if that's because we're changing even more. These guys aren't hard, but if you let them, they will bring your health down fairly quickly. Okay, so it took me a minute to figure this out. I was like, there has to be something here. This looks like a door or something. Uh, it just looked that way. I walked around these statues, I, I ran all around um, until I finally noticed that it was saying use down here and I'm pretty sure it said use the whole time. I just wasn't paying attention. So for like an hour, hour and a half, I ran around trying to figure this out when it was right here in front of my face. Get a trinity key, we'll be using that later on. We're not going to use that just now. Ah. There's another guy right over here. Want to try something out real fast. I'm not sure if these enemies are weak to fire or not. They kind of seem like it, but we'll just have to see.
it's talking about a ergo mine or like a um, cave underneath Krat that is growing. Not that way. I'm all turned around here. I think it's over here. Yes. Over here. Can't get in there until we get a key. Which I don't know where to get that key. Pretty sure it's from that guy right there. We're going to come back to fight him. First, I want to run up top here. Send down this ladder. Open up this chest. And then down there is the boss. But like I said, I have not been that far yet. And I don't think we're going to fight the boss today because I want to have a little bit of a shorter video. The last two videos were longer for sure. So we'll probably just kill this guy and then go back to Hotel Krat and end the video there. Depending on how long this guy takes for me to kill. Ouch. guy is beefy. We're just going to switch to this. Well, he didn't give us the key, but he did give us a caliper. Shot put. I don't use those very often. I wonder how good they are. Yeah, so I don't know where to get the key for that uh, door. Probably after we kill the boss, I'm sure. It would make sense. So let's go back to Hotel Crot and give the butler, well, Anatonia's butler, because there's two different butlers, um, this, uh, I think crate or whatever it is, the box to upgrade their store. 
And maybe we'll try to find the cat at the same time. No matter what fate brings us, serving welcome to... He's just going to repeat himself. This is a supply box, officially approved by the city of Krat. I shall open it and add it to the hotel shop. Many thanks, good sir. No matter what fate serving welcome... I definitely want this. And this. And this. You got anything new to say? I'll use my power. Nope. Um, just to give you a sense of everything I bought. He does have an amulet. I always welcome friends. Yeah, I, I definitely want this. Looks so damn awesome. Oh, look at that. Strongest Legion arm. Just got a trophy for it. And then we're going to work on this. I want to work on the Pandemonium next just to see how well that does. So we'll need five more of these calibers. And then we'll level up our weapon. I know my way around a weapon. That way we can do even more damage. Oh, I didn't check if the cat was over there by Eugenie. It is. Let's go uh, pet Figaro or whatever his name is. He actually likes us now. And I th think that's probably about it for um, anything new. Sorry, I thought I seen an item over there. Um, for anything like new that's going on in here. We can put more stuff into our P organ. Show everybody what I've got so far. So over here, this is what I put into that. This is what I put into that. I feel like I should have at least one more, but I guess not. Yeah, let's get this one. And then over here, I want to increase the ergo upon eliminating an enemy too. This is going to be amazing for us. And then I think the next one I'm going to get is probably going to be in this tree. This one seems really uh, nice. This one and then this one. Or wait, no. Wish stones? Maybe that one isn't what I was thinking it was. Yeah. 
And then I don't think Geppetto has anything new to say either. You don't remember much. Ask me about Eric. Yeah, nope. But our nose is growing even longer because we're lying. Which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I have one playthrough where I'm doing everything the opposite way. And he does not have a nose. So I don't know if the good ending or if there is a good or bad ending. I know there's three different endings. I just don't know if uh, the path that I'm taking is good or bad. Um, or on my other character if it's good or bad. All right, now that that's all been said and we got all that stuff out of the way, I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. I really appreciate it I'd so much. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.